Let's begin with the trivia question. What was the last team other than Carmel to win a girls' state title, and what year? If you said Columbus North and the 1985-86 season, well then you know you're swimming. Amazingly, it's true. To put it in perspective, we've had five U.S. presidents since the last time a team not named Carmel were state champions. This is a run that began under coach Ray Lawrence through three other coaches, only to have Chris Plum steering the ship for the last 12 seasons. This unprecedented success is about one thing, the Carmel culture. Carmel Swim Club as a kid, then the Greyhounds. When I was an age grouper in 7th and 8th grade, I went to the NAT and I sat in the stands and went and watched high school stay. I didn't really know who the girls were, but I knew it was a big deal because that's something in the culture that's passed down. So they are as excited about it as we are. And so being able to go and just put on the silver cap and represent my team, stepping on the blocks, it's not about me. So I'm swimming for all the girls in the stands and I'm swimming for the girls on the bleachers. It's about creating trust. If they trust one another, they want to be here for each other, they create that over time. And one of the things we do is we want them to be a little silly and goofy at times in front of each other. I'll make them do funny dances. I'll make the youngest athletes speak in front of each other just so there's this um, vulnerability where they know that they can trust, they can see each other in different lights, and that way they've created that bond during those times. That trust allows the team to hold each other accountable when things aren't working. Kelly Pash will swim at the University of Texas next year. Occasional tough love allows this team to rise to the top of the mountain. Gratitude keeps them there. So we have this journal and um, <laughs> like the coaches brought it in for us and I thought it was an amazing idea just to like kind of take your mind off of swimming and like really think about things that you're grateful for. Um, and things that we have here. And it doesn't just have to be about swimming, it can be about anything in life. And I think it's just super fun because you get to take it home, you get, you get your own page, you can write whatever you want, and then you basically read it in front of the whole group. And also every week we do this thing called Winter Circle. And everybody in the group, we get together, and they have to share something that they saw somebody else do really well during the week. So just creating that culture and recognition, like. I saw you doing that, that was tremendous, and I want to share that with the group. This combo of mental and physical training is the core of their 32 state title run. The 2015 team broke the national record for consecutive championships. That group was so good, if they have competed at the Division I NCAA championships that year, they would have finished fourth overall. The community went crazy. Only in Carmel have they had a parade for swimming. And when we broke the national record, we marched down Main Street, we we're in fire trucks, and like only in Carmel do you have that kind of community support and recognition. Coach Plum also coaches the boys team at the same time, and get this, they've won a total of 18 state championships over the past 30 years, including the last four in a row. I think if you took away our girls swim team, and you just focused on boys swimming at Carmel, right? And you said, how many championships have the boys won? And you say, 18. You go 18 against any other boys team in the state, you say, that might be the best program in the state. In the meantime, it's back to work. Girls sectionals begin this week. I'm Lauren Plant for State Champ.